Hey guys, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching another video. So today I'm doing another cooking video for you guys. Yay. Um, today I'm going to tell you all the date and the time. Hold on. Today is September 5th, it's currently 5.30 p.m. So um, before I get into my video, to my amazing supporters, thank you guys so much for all of your amazing support. I really appreciate every single one of you. So as y'all can tell by the title of this video today, we are making ground lamb pasta and of course sides with it. So for sides, we have corn and we have cheesy breadsticks. So I already like started cooking and prepping. It's just, I just put the camera on because I don't want this video to be too long. So some stuff I did do off camera. So we just gonna get into it. Anyways, before I adjust the camera, this is the ground lamb that I use. I will put every ingredient in the description box just in case y'all wanna make this at home. And then this is the breadsticks that I use, just so y'all know. So as I told y'all, I already have like stuff on the stove. I'm just gonna show y'all. All right, so I got my ground lamb in the pot. I have it on like medium high heat. And then that is for the pasta. Since it's boiling, I'm gonna take like half a cup of oil, pour it in there. When you pour oil in the water for the pasta, it prevents it from sticking together. So that's why I do it. In addition to the oil and the water, I do sprinkle adobo in there just to give the pasta flavor. And now that it's boiling, I'm gonna pour some pasta in there. This is the brand pasta that I use. I love, love, love this brand. They come in all different kinds. You don't find it like in the regular pasta section in the store, but it's really, really good in case y'all wanna try it. So for now, I'm just doing half a bag so that I can finish cooking. If I wanna make more, I'll just make more tomorrow because it's only two of us. For the ground lamb, um, I put it in the pot first this time. I didn't want to put the onions first. So now that it's almost done, I'm going to add in the onions. And I'm going to add in cilantro. So stir it in. And for seasoning today, I am not using oxtail. Y'all know my other go-to seasoning is Royco. So I'm gonna put two of them in there. I might end up adding a third one, but I'm definitely gonna put two for now. So I put my seasoning and stuff in there. I say this takes like a good 10, 15 minutes before you add your spaghetti sauce in. I'm gonna show y'all. So for spaghetti sauce, I'm using this one. Y'all could use any one of y'all preference, but this is the fire roasted tomato garlic flavor. And in addition, I'm gonna be using cooking wine. I love, love, love this one. So I'm also making corn as I told y'all. So in the corn, I literally only pour, put water, um, water, some milk, and then I'm gonna add in like half a stick of butter. Gotta let the butter melt at some point. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of sugar. And as I told y'all, whenever y'all boiling anything, if it's like um, about to like boil over, y'all could just put a metal spoon in there, preferably like a giant metal spoon, as y'all can see, to prevent it from boiling over. So I got my one tablespoon of sugar. I'm actually put two and then in addition to that i do put garlic powder in there and sometimes i add adobo because i like my corn to have like a nice flavor to it so i sprinkle a little bit of that um but yeah you could just put the stove on like medium heat that's what i have it on medium if it starts boiling too much of course you could turn it down but that's the corn 
And as I said, I'm gonna add a little bit of adobo to it because I like my corn flavor. So there, I say that's going to take like a good 10 minutes to cook. Um, don't forget to stir the pasta. And then I feel like this is pretty much like done. I mean, not fully, but you could keep preparing it until the onions are a little bit dark, but... I'm gonna put a little bit of cayenne pepper in there too. I'm gonna also add in some of this. Y'all know I like to cook with it sometimes. I'm gonna add in my cooking line. So I poured out of a fresh bottle like this much, as y'all can see, I don't have a specific measurement. I'm gonna start measuring for y'all, but for right now, this is how I cook. <laughs> but you could put add as you prefer. And the reason why I add a certain amount of seasoning, because you gotta remember this is being mixed in with the pasta. So you don't want to only flavor, so you're only flavoring for the meat. You kind of want to flavor for the pasta too. So I say let this simmer in the wine for like five minutes. All right, y'all, so this is pretty much good. I feel like it absorbs the wine already. So I'm gonna open this, add it in. I'm gonna put the whole thing in there because I don't like my pasta dry. Mix it in. At this point, you could kind of turn the fire down to like low. Put some water in this. Shake it out. Pour it in there. That way it's not super thick. So I say leave this now. Um, definitely remember to taste y'all food. If it's to y'all liking, leave it and just let it simmer down for like a good 10 minutes. Definitely a 10 out of 10. So I'm gonna leave this to sit for like a good 10 minutes. In the meantime, here are the breadsticks that I told y'all that I'm going to make. So just follow the instructions on the box and stick it in the oven. So there's the pasta. To me, the pasta is pretty much done. I took one out and tasted it. It all depends on how you like your pasta. So now I'm gonna turn off the stove and then drain it and I'll be right back. Hey y'all, so I was actually gonna drain the pasta off camera, but I'm gonna do it on camera because there's this hack that I learned on TikTok and um, I've been using it for like a good year now and I wanna show y'all. So I have my strainer here. I'm gonna try my best to get a good angle, but I have my strainer here. So I know the traditional way that a lot of us drain our pasta. We take the pasta and we pour it in through this and let it drain. What I do, I'm gonna show y'all. So as y'all can see, I have my pasta here. I take this, I put it in there, and then I hold them together like this. And then I pour off the water. And that's how I drain my pasta. That way you don't have to um, 
that way you don't have to like do all this pouring in one thing and then pour it back out you literally just hold it like that the pastas will not fall out and yeah could drain off as much water as you please but that's how i drain my pasta i just wanted to show y'all and then i leave it in the pot so i'm gonna go back over to the stove and see there your pasta is drained yay so now that my pasta is drained i'm gonna put a little bit of butter in there not a whole lot i usually add like parsley in there but i actually don't have any um i may have basil all right so i'm gonna add in a little bit of adobo and a little bit of garlic powder to flavor it just a little bit y'all not a lot cooking is all about flavoring and garlic as you can see and then just mix it in until the butter melts and then your pasta is done to me the corn is pretty much done once it gives like a glowing color then it's done I know everybody like their corn different but I say a good like 10 20 minutes depending on the texture of how you like your corn so I'm gonna turn that off cover it and the remaining heat will like cook it come over here as I told y'all keep it on low let all the flavor just blend together for a good like 10 minutes while the oven preheats with the thing in it. So I think it's pretty much done. That's that with this. Honestly, you could turn it off at this point. The remaining heat will cook it. And then I'm gonna put the thing in the oven, um, the, the breadsticks, and that's it. And I'll be back. All right, y'all. So I am officially done. Yay. I'm about to show y'all. So that's the finished product. I already served our food. I'm going to show y'all it. That's the pasta. The bread is wrapped up in there. I'm not going to open it. And that's the corn. And here's our food. The bread got burned a little bit, but we're going to enjoy it anyway. Um, but yeah, that concludes this video. Pretty much, I'm about to taste test because um, Casey's here, so we're gonna eat together. Taste test, let y'all know, and then close this out, okay? Look, we couldn't wait to eat. <laughs> How is it? I starve myself for all your food now. Oh, that is so sweet and of I you. I have to wait for you to shoot your videos. So I can't even eat it until you go. <laughs> Thanks for being patient. You wouldn't even let me buy Chick-fil-A, guys. That's a lie. You bought it when I was out of town. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to taste test mine. Y'all can see it's obviously good if you eat them like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try everything out and let y'all know. Hmm. I'm busting. One day, I'm gonna probably like rent out an Airbnb and have people that watch my videos over, like my top, top video watchers, like my top supporters, and just cook for y'all one day. And have y'all rate my food live. And that's what I'm going to do one these days. I don't know how far in the future that is, but that's what I'm going to do. Mmm. It looks so good. Makes me want to do a mukbang. Actually, I might start doing that soon. When I cook, eat my own food. Turned into a mukbang and talk to y'all. Turn it into a separate video. This is so good, y'all. Yeah. This corn. It's just perfect. But I'm gonna jump off camera. 
so I can enjoy my food. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Bye.